Hey everybody, Lucas here and welcome to this Tick Tick course, which I hope will be super valuable to you as I had a lot of fun creating it. Tick Tick is a very fun tool to use. It's a very thorough tool and it's definitely one of my favorites for task management. If you're new here, my name is Lucas and I review digital productivity tools specifically for getting things done, but also other purposes. And you'll find that Tick Tick is perfectly suited for GTD if you make some adjustments to it but not only GTD. So if you use another method, that's fine as well. And I think you'll also find a lot of value out of this course. In the first lesson, which is this video, we'll just go through a general overview of the tool, making sure you're set up right. In the second video, we'll learn how we can capture items into our inbox. In the third, we'll organize our system. In the fourth lesson, we'll look into processing items from the inbox into the system that we've now set up through the organization. And in the last video, we'll see how we can actually reflect on things, store reference material, and of course, engage, so we can actually get things done. Just a couple of notes. Make sure that you have a TickTick -tick Premium account. Make sure that you have a way to follow the course as you actually use the account. So you could play this video in another window, for example. And third, if you're already a TickTick -tick user or more experienced with GTD, perhaps you've seen some of my previous videos, then the pace may be a bit slow for you at times. If you catch yourself getting bored, then just increase the playback speed until you stumble upon something new again. I hope you'll find something and I hope you enjoy the course. So let's get started. So when you open TickTick -Tick for the very first time, you'll probably see something like this. On the left-hand side, it has various levels. For example, you can see it has a task level, which is the one we're gonna see and use the most during this course. But there's also a calendar view, which is currently still blocked for us because we still need to upgrade. You can search and there's various other views as well that we'll get to see later on in the course. Within the task level, you have an inbox already ready to use, which is great. And you have three different taxonomies. And if you're a Todoist user or you see my course, you'll see some similarities here. There's the lists view which basically allows you to store projects, specific tasks, or notes. There are tags that can be applied to any individual task or note. And there's filters, which allow you to combine any of those in any way you see fit. And we'll definitely be using those as we set up our system here. In the middle, you will see the view of any particular list that you're currently viewing. So far, we only have the inbox list, so that's what we're seeing here. The settings can be found by clicking on your avatar. So you can set up your own theme, for example. I have the blue one, but it has a lot of options. And the settings in particular can be found here. So there's quite a lot of them. I'm not gonna go through every single one, just the ones that I think will help you get started and follow along with this course properly. For one, in the features list, there are various ways to configure smart lists. These are basically pre-configured lists with some automation behind them. For example, every single item, every item or task that is due today, tomorrow, in the next seven days, etc. I've hidden most of these for now, but you are free to set them up in any way that you see fit. You can set up how your tags and filters look. You can set up various additional levels like an Eisenhower matrix, which we'll get into later. A focus timer, which includes a Pomodoro feature. Now I've released a video on that which explains this method in more detail, but we'll actually see it in practice in this course as well. A habit level. And various settings for the date and time notifications, which you'll definitely want to set up in a way that works for you so you don't miss anything. Task defaults. And very importantly, you'll want to make sure that the default add to list is the inbox. And some other miscellaneous settings here. So when you're happy with your settings, just press save. And then we will move on to the next lesson, which is all about capturing items into the inbox in various ways. I hope this was a helpful introduction to TickTick -tick and you're now ready to actually start with your setup. If not, if you have any questions or things holding you back, just let me know about them in the comments. I'll be happy to help and others will benefit from it as well if they run into the same issue. But if you are ready, then press ahead onto the next lesson and I'll see you there.